Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is the beginner art journal page that I just did, as you can see. I did it in my uh, journal that I made. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I am so blessed to have so many beginners uh, finding my channel and loving it and doing the art journal pages and tagging me on H, uh, on H, on Facebook. I was going to say HSN, girl, mm. Facebook and all that kind of stuff because I love it. And um, so, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Please check out the link that I put down below. And around here somewhere, uh, linking you to another art journal page I did in the beginning with different colors similar to this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys so very much and enjoy. Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I want to thank you guys for um, <clears throat> all your comments and your messages to me uh, about the art journal for beginners. Um, I am loving, loving, loving seeing what everybody is doing. I think it is fantastic. All you guys tagging me with your uh, art journal pages and whatnot with the washi tape uh, and the masking tape and all that kind of thing. I love it. It just makes me so very happy. So today we're going to do another art journal for beginners page. And um, I'm going to show you a couple uh, little neat things. Um, let me show you. You know, sometimes when you make your own art journaling or in general, you know, everybody likes to gesso. Uh, and I have these, oh my goodness gracious, they are from Mod Podge and they are roller applicators. And you get two in a pack and then you get this bottle with a lid. Okay, so this is what it's it's done, it looks like. And then what I did was I took my gesso and I put it in here. Then I added, I, I will tell you, I put my gesso in here and then I added about a tablespoon, uh, a little less than a tablespoon of water just to get it flowing a little bit more. So if you take off the lid and set the lid aside for a memento and you take this, this screws on. Okay, then you have this and you squeeze it and it rolls. Look at this. It rolls your gesso or paints or whatever you have. I want to do, I want to um, have one for my Mod Podge as well. Think how wonderfully and easy or your whatever you use, right? Look at this. Good goodness gracious. This is wonderful. Now, I'm not being careful because I'm just wanting to do an, an art journal page. But look at this. You can go light so you don't get any marks on it or whatever you want. I mean, just so it is what just so is. And I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to do this. Look at that. Now, I can set this aside. And um, I'm going to have to wash this off so it doesn't dry really. I'll just dip it into my water that I rinse my brushes in and give it a squeeze with a little towel just to get a lot of that out. But I'm going to leave it sit like this so all the um, gesso goes back to the bottom or I have a couple canvases that I want gessoed so I might do that and then um, you know then clean it up and then all I got to do is put this back on and it saves the gesso in here for the next time I want to use it. I am thrilled. Thrilled, 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 thrilled. Hello. Now, got my gesso on, so let's try it real quick. And these are basic beginner art journal pages. So while I'm drawing this, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to figure out and think, what colors do I want to do? Well, I think I'm going to go with... Hmm, let's do some pinks and purples today. I always go with greens and let's just stick pink and purple. And black, that'll be our our other color. And who knows, maybe we'll stick some more in there. But I'm just drawing this if, with my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, your thrift stores sell them. Mine sell them for like a buck fifty. And if it wasn't so expensive to uh, mail hair dryers around as random acts of kindness, I would. But these costs of the shipping anymore are so expensive, so expensive. And uh, it just doesn't seem, you know, cost worthy anymore. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how everything just jumped up like that, but it did. 
And, um, you know, so check out your local thrift store. Check out Craigslist and stuff like that. You never know. People might be selling them. You never know. All right. So I'm going light and I'm going to go uh, with a brilliant pink on the bottom. And I am just going to squirt. You know, you want to start with a lighter color. So think about your scheme. Maybe you want to do greens. Maybe you want to do purples. Maybe you want to do... Um... All right, Kel. All right. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm, this is almost empty. That's all. There we go. I got to really squeeze it. Um, you know, think of colors that you uh, want. Now, this is a little darker than I think I want at this moment. So what I'm going to do... And these are just little tips I'm going to show you. Is I'm going to spray a little bit of water. Very cheap, easy. You can go to uh, Walmart and get plain water bottles in the trial section by the uh, makeup and medicine and all. You can um, go to your local dollar store and for a dollar buy a spray... Um, body spray, you know how they sell those? And you can get one of them, empty it out, wash it out, and uh, use that for water. That's a nice big one. So that costs nothing. And maybe you even have those in your um, medicine chest at home, medicine cabinet at home. You never know. Maybe you're, a family member has one. Always ask because you never know. All right, so you can see that really covered beautifully. And I have my pages underneath here. These are just two pieces of uh, printer paper or whatever paper you have, newspaper, it doesn't matter, um, underneath here. I'm not going to worry uh, too much about if it starts to dry and a little bit comes out. Now I have paint on my brush. I have a piece of paper here and you probably won't be able to see it, but what I'm going to do is start doing a, this is going to be my paint off page <laughs> where I just kind of paint the rest of my paint on there and I'm going to do my best to cover it. See, that's all the paint that was left on there. And then um, it'll become a mixed media page for me. So once my brush off, move that light a little bit because it's kind of giving me a shadow. And I'm going to blow this dry real quick. Now, listen, if you don't have a heat gun or a hair dryer and you're not getting one, do this put on a video on the YouTube and sit and in a matter of five, six, seven minutes, depending on how humid it is. It's very humid in Jersey today, it's like 98 today. Um, you know, it'll dry. So don't worry about it. If you don't have, you can still do this. And if you don't have an art, an art journal, use a piece of printer paper and just fold it in half and have a blast. You can even glue them together. I know I got a couple uh, requests of me to show how to glue them together, so I will be doing that. But yeah, I'm doing this in the art journal I made. You don't have to. You can do it in a composition book. You can do it in um, on a piece of paper. You can do it in your mixed media. It doesn't matter. All right, get this in here where it's a little thicker. All right not going to waste too much time. All right. So now I want to, I want to pick what shape I want. Now I'm like a hearts person. I'm a circle person. I know it drives people crazy because when I do these things for beginners, I always pick like hearts or circles, but, um, you have to understand starting out. I mean, it's been, it's been quite a long time since I've started out. However, um, I love showing you guys things around the house to use because a lot of you who are starting out, you don't have all these supplies at home. And yet, you know, you still want to do an art journal page and have fun and feel accomplished. And that's why I do what I do to show you, look, you can do this. This isn't going to use any fanciness, but a few colors of paint and a few items um, to make some markings. That's what I'm doing on this. So bear with me. And if you don't like, um, you know, beginner journal pages you don't have to there's i have a million art journal pages on my um i gotta put these in here for a second on my youtube and you can definitely go find them there's nothing wrong with that if you don't want to watch this one that's just my disclaimer 
I'm moving on. Okay. Um, sometimes I get letters and I don't I couldn't understand, but okay. So I'm going to use just plain uh, folk art, perfect purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera just a little bit so we can be here. I'm going to squirt a little bit of this out so I can show you what I do. Okay. I'm going to take some water and do six squirts. I'm going to take my paintbrush, rinse it off, but I want it wet. You know, you can dab it off so you're not soaking, soaking wet, but look, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, and I'm just mixing it around. Now, here's what's going to happen. If you use, I have a lid, let me show you. I have a lid to, um, a, a, you know, what are these called? I, I don't know. One of these, right? A bottle. And um, I just have the lid of this. You can use your glue stick lid. You can use your Mod Podge lid. You can use uh, a lid to hairspray. You can use a lid to uh, the cooking spray. You know, Pam, you can use a lid to your acrylic paint. It doesn't matter. Now, what's going to happen here, we're going to see if I need a little more paint because it might be a little too watery. I never know. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it in here. And I'm going to go like this. Look it, right? And it's all right. It's a little watery, but that's okay. You can put more in there and we will. And look, you don't have to do the whole page. Just do different, you know, different parts. It doesn't have to be the whole one either. Just We're just doing some circles. Now I'm going to put this away. I'm going to wipe it just so it just doesn't drip everywhere. And I'm going to get a bigger a bigger one or a smaller one, whatever you can get. How about we use, yeah, we'll use this. That's a cooking spray. Oops, I got some glue in there. I put it in there. All right, so I'm just going to tap this around. Scooch it around and hit it. Look at that. Okay, and I'm going to do some more. And this is going to be a grungy page, okay? So, very simple, very light. Now, I'm going to let that dry, and then I will be back in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of white, just a little bit, and a little bit more of the purple. I'm not going to dilute this. Just going to, I want a lighter color. And I'm going to mix it up with my brush so we get a nice light lavender. And that's why I always say when you guys are starting out or just starting your mixed media, and I turn the brush over both ways so it gets all that in there, um, always do your Roy G. Biv black and white when you buy. It's the cheapest way to do it, and you can really make a lot of different colors from that when you're starting out. I'm going to go in with this again, and I'm just going to lay it in there and turn it. Or you could take your brush and paint it around, whatever way you want. And I'm going to go off a little bit. See how I'm doing? Off center. Just a little bit. No rhyme or reason. I can go in on that one. I can go out on that one. And you see, it just looks a little grungy. It's no big deal. And we can take our lid that we used prior for the smaller ones and get it in there and maybe you want to do it you know over top of it maybe you want to do it beside you decide how you want to do it this is how i'm doing it but i love i'll just do it like that i think we need one there now i'm just going to kind of use this until it gets everything off. And look how easy and fun that was. So I'm going to take my paper again, and you're not going to see it probably on the camera because I don't want to wet this, but I'm just going to add it all around. Let's scrape up one more time. There you go. And see, we're getting a nice little mixed media paper there. Rinse my brush off, wipe this off. Okay. 
So I'm going to let that go. I'm not going to worry about letting it dry all the way right this second because I'm going to do some splatters. Now, I was going to add, I'm going to do white splatters because that's, that's kind of just what I want. But I also want to do some running. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, metallic amethyst from folk art. and Because it's a little sparkly. I mean, you know, I'm just going to do a little ploop here. It's metallic. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to leave it wet. And I'm going in. Look at this. Both sides. Going in. I'm going in. If you need it more... Uh, water it by all means. Then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to hope you can see this. You might not, but we'll do our best. And I'm going to take it onto my brush and just very carefully flick it. Okay, you can see I'm kind of holding it a little weird, but I'm weird. And I'm just going to touch it. I want some of this sparkle. And if it's not running, you can give it a hit like that. See how it just runs? So I just have this both sides really loaded up. And just gonna touch and touch. Anywhere else you wanna touch. Okay, and I give it a bang. And then leave it like that. I'm just going to wipe this little bit up. Okay. And now I'm going to dry it for just, just real quick. Nothing too major. And you don't have to dry it. I'm just doing it just to kind of speed it up a bit. Now you see how simple. It's just very, very simple to do this. And you can do the circles anywhere you want, any size. You can even do a smaller size now, again, or do a bigger size. But this is giving you a cool abstract um, art journal page with very, very little supplies needed. And all these colors and all these supplies, you can do this with watercolor if you want. Just know that watercolor will reactivate as you put more on there. But if that's all you have, if you have Crayola watercolors, go for it. It'll look different, but guess what? It doesn't matter. It's art. All right, I'm just going to run this up here real quick. These are a little wet still. I'm just gonna give them all that. Okay, very simple, right? Very simple, very good. My light there. Let me pick this up so you can see it. Look how cool. And you got like some metallic going. Of course, it has to dry a little bit more, but it's all right. Now I want to do white splatters. So I'm going to take some of my white paint now and we're going to do a very wet brush again. We're going to water this down both sides. You really want it watery like ink. And then what I'm going to do is this. <gasps> Look at that. Yoss. Look at that. And you do it until you have enough of what you want and then you can leave it dry. I'm going to take my paper and just lay it on here and pick up some of that white. Do the other side. And see, it just picks up <clears throat> that white a little bit. Takes the majority of it. I shall wipe this off. Now, very basic. It's a very basic art journal page, but look how cool. Now, Think about this. 
ATC card. Y'all ask me constantly to do ATC cards. I will. I have a tutorial coming up. I'm going to use a similar thing like this on an ATC card for beginners because a lot of you want to join swaps, want to do ATC cards, and you're nervous. You don't know how. You want, you know, you want some beginners. So I'm going to do that for you. So I'm going to condense this onto an ATC card. But look how cool. So once this is all dry, it's going to look fantastic. So I hope that this helped you guys, you people who are beginning. Um, I hope this helps some of your fear. Um, and you see how simple and easy this is. It's a beautiful grungy page. Now, let me just tell you something. Normally, before I did the white, I mean, before this, um, how you say, I can't even think of the word I want to say. I would take black paint, I would water it down, and I would, after this is all dry, and I would um, grunge it out. Do you know what I'm saying? But right now these are still wet. I'm not going to dry it and waste uh, your time sitting here watching me dry it. So, but that's what I would do sometimes. Sometimes for something different, I would just take the black and like really make it dark, but look really grungy, right? So that's something else you could do. If you guys want to see me grunge this out, if you can't understand exactly what it is, or you want to see what it looks like, or you want to try it, but you're nervous and you want to see me do it, let me know down below, or you can write me like you guys always do. Um, and uh, by that time, it'll be dry, <clears throat> and I'll do that for you. But this is so simple, so much fun. I'm going to take my pages out, so you can see it a little better. And just look how fun. Look how much fun that is. delicious. Now I have a video, I'm going to put it down below or up here somewhere, um, of me doing this uh, in a green type of way. So I'm going to link that down below. Go check it out. It's so much fun. You get a different look. It's with green and black, I believe. And it was so much fun to do. So I hope you go check it out. And please share me around like I'm your loose friend. Share me everywhere. Please I appreciate it. Uh, maybe uh, some other beginners out there might see this and might want to try it as well. Um, and as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. Please do not hesitate to email me um, or leave down below different uh requests that you have, more art journaling for beginners, whatever you guys want. It is my pleasure. So I love you guys so very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.